What is going on guys, you're here from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, we're going to be looking at a very unique drone from Amazon with the Prime service, of course, guys. And I'm talking about the UFO hand sensing drone. Basically, all you need is your hands in order to operate this thing. It doesn't come with a remote controller and it doesn't have an application. All you need to do is charge it up, turn it on, put it on your hand, throw it up and that's pretty much it this thing is going to be activated automatically i already used it for the past couple of days guys it is super lightweight it is recommended for ages three and up and normally drones of any category are recommended for ages 14 up this one is a little bit different i would say it is suitable for anybody out there and if it is for somebody younger than this age make sure that you use caution and train your kids properly because it does have some small parts here inside of the box so make sure that you are safe but anyways guys this thing is really harmless in the sense that again it is lightweight it is protected by a cage the blades are not exposed which is a little bit safer and as you guys can tell it comes in different colors we had the blue color version as well as the golden in this particular case it is obvious to say that we had the red color um, it does charge via USB port, it has sensors to avoid crash, and also it has some lights built in. So let's go ahead and unbox this little guy here guys. Again, I've used it now for the past couple of days and my kids and I, including the cats, everybody had so much fun with this little drone right here guys that it's just unbelievable. I mean, I never you know, thought that something that would cost about $30, especially in the drone world, will be so entertaining as this one right here. It is really, really cool. And then it comes with some tools, as you guys can see, including the USB cable so that we can charge the tiny battery. I believe is a 150 milliamp battery, 3.7 volts. So it's going to last about five to six minutes approximately. And then it takes about almost an hour to charge completely. So inside of the USB uh, port right here, we're gonna find a red light. When it is turned red, it means that the battery is not charged when it turns off that means your drone is ready to go and then here we have a screwdriver because we need to remove a plastic that came uh, holding it in place and then here we have some manuals and that's pretty much it guys so let's go ahead and take this baby apart and here we have the screw underneath it that i mentioned before and basically all we need to do is remove the screw again make sure that you charge it I'll be showing you exactly where the port is located. So now getting a look here around this drone, the first thing we see on the bottom side here is the power switch. All you have to do is hold it for about a second and it'll turn on. As you guys can see, the light right now is in green. Now, once you start flying, it'll turn blue, red, and I believe yellow as well. So it'll change colors, which is really, really cool. We have four motors on the inner side of the cage. And the cool part about this drone, other than being lightweight, which is about 20, 30 grams, is the fact that it is built with this flexible plastic all the way around it. So it serves as a bumper. So in case, let's say you crash it or something happens, it is most likely not going to break. I've been using it now for the past five days or so, and it has held quite well. Again, guys, on the bottom here, we have some sensors. So basically, it'll sense once you let it go. So let's say I place it on the palm of my hand and I just let it go or um, throw it, I will say. It'll just activate the motors and it'll start flying. And then you have some sensors here on the side of the drone, uh, which are the ones responsible for crash avoidance. And also, you can use it with your hand. So let's say it is flying and I uh, place my hand on this side of the sensor, it'll move the opposite way. And the same thing goes here for the other sensor, which is really, really cool. Now keep in mind that it only has two sensors on the side, it doesn't have four. So sometimes it could drag a little bit um, and hit an object on the side that it doesn't have a sensor, but he will try to either get back in place or it'll just turn off automatically and then it's going to fall but again guys this thing is really harmless super lightweight and it is flexible as well so you really have uh, no risk and also as it is flying it's going to be spinning like so so again the sensor is always checking for objects as well as the sensor here on the bottom side and again all you have to do is place it on the palm of your hands throw it up and as you guys can see it did activate the motors. If you shake it, it'll turn off the motors. And uh, like I said, guys, it is a super nice 
little toy to have around the house. My kids had a blast. Even my cat had a blast with this little toy right here. For $33, you guys really have not much to lose. I mean, other drones are really cool and they are sometimes inexpensive as well, but they do require a remote. The blades are exposed and it is, um, I would say, a little bit riskier, especially if you have kids younger than 14 years of age. I would say maybe five or below. Um, then yes, it can get a little bit risky, but this thing right here guys is a lot of fun and take my word for it You won't be disappointed But this being said guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this little UFO drone Please don't forget to subscribe hit on that bell. Remember that there's a giveaway going on. Don't miss it Like the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one